most of you that have accessed the courses and have been in the group. Um, if I'm saying your mind, please just drop me a comment. I'm just going to, we have just one hour and I would love for us to maximize the time that we have. So today we're going to be having Mr. Akunda, your INE. He, I have um, sent you all his bio, so I believe that should not be a problem. I don't want to take our time reading through it again, but he's, he's, the, boss, he's, he's the boss of the bosses. Like, yeah, he's my boss. And so <laughs> with him, there is always, always I learning. <laughs> so we know, we know you're trying to be humble. We know now. <laughs> Um, so, no so <laughs> he's a very busy person, very, very busy. And we're so grateful that he's given us this one hour and I don't want us to stretch it. Um, so like, you know, our rules, this is the third time. So I don't have to reiterate things. If you have any questions or any comments, please use the chat box. I'm going to see them and respond. And so I'll just, if you have any questions for him, it's not easy to catch like this. So, so drop all the questions. <laughs> Um, that he might have, and I believe he's going to do um, justice to them. Then there's going to be a poll um, there. I hope you all are able. So for those using your phones, I know you won't be able to take the poll. So you can just drop in your name and your group in the comment section to indicate that you're actually present. Um, so we can notify that. If you can't use the poll for those using um, their phones when it's active, Okay, so sir, I will just hand over to you. Um, okay. All the way. <laughs> Welcome, sir. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So I want to say good evening to all the big girls in the house and the big madams. I kind of have this bias. Okay, oh, let me ask. Can you see my screen? You see what I'm sharing on my screen, right? Not well, I have yet. access to that. Okay. Okay. Mute okay. yourself. Yeah. Why are you unmuting? I've been muting you all day. You can. Okay. Can you see what I'm sharing on the screen now? Yes, can we you can. Okay. Yes, we can. Okay. Fine. Okay. So. No, sir. Um, I can't. Okay, you can see it. You can see it now. Okay. So my name is Ayene Kundayo, and um, I have this bias for ladies in such a way that um, my office we are female led. Uh, although I've not seen some of my people in the office in a while, but I think well, um, it's uh, five to ninety percent female in the whole system. So we, we just have some few guys who help us ginger our swagger once a while. But primarily, I like to work with a lot of ladies because they are committed to a process and they try to achieve a lot of results. I was told to discuss something about um, the global skills and the skills uh, that you, in terms of digital marketing. I will tell you for, for free, I've been in several situations, several standing. I've sat around tables. Um, if about an hour ago, if you're on Facebook, you see uh, Mark Zuckerberg was doing a live um, uh, program. He was speaking at the program in Paris, but he's doing it online. And if you had listened to some of the things he said about an hour ago, you also understand that your mind needs to be bigger. So it's not sufficient. It's a big opportunity coming to this kind of training, but it's also not sufficient for you to stop with her, um, I must say, excellent, that blew my mind. Uh, you know, I heard about her long, long ago, sometimes last year, and she's been doing some fantastic work. Um, she was managing some accounts, and she was doing very amazing, she was doing well. And I said, look, I want to meet this lady, I like what she's doing, I'd not, why even come across her then? Is it early this year or late last year? I think it was late last year. Early yeah. this year. January. Yeah. yeah, that we sat down and we had this conversation. I was in Abuja and fantastic lady. I like her passion, you know. She's a go-getter. I always tell her rest, 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 rest. 
Actually, when they start telling you rest, 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 that's the time energy used to enter you. So let me just not say rest here. Okay, so um, digital skills, what you need? We need your digital skills. In my own head, I've been asking myself, what are the global digital skills? I will highlight four primary top skills that I've seen on demand, but I also won't stop with that. I'll be able to share some other things. So the first question I like to say is that people all over the world, they are looking for you, Africans. You know, most of the people in this class, I think primarily they're Africans. You think you're less privileged. Um, you think you don't have enough power. You think you don't have enough energy and all of that. Don't mind my slide. I like to use some kind of slides that are not the regular slide. So people all over the world, they're looking for Africans. Why? We're talented. This morning I was on a TV show, uh, Pop TV or something. And I said there on the TV show that Nigerians are one of the most incredible people you can work with. When they say these things, I'm speaking from a global perspective because currently we have over 200 people who are fully hired working for us globally. And you will see Nigerians can go above and beyond to deliver jobs for you. When I mean they go above and beyond, you would see how hardworking Nigerians can be, especially when they are committed to a cause. I see we've been in these classes for some time now. And you know how tedious it can be, taking out your time, your credit, your data to come and attend the class. Now, it should not stop. So, if an African or as a talent, or do you see yourself as somebody who is a business, who are uh, the business they are looking for, or you have the soft skill? Because um, we've been doing trainings for a while now. We discover we train people on how to do coding, how to do digital marketing, and all of that. But when you don't have the soft skill, you will kill the whole business. You kill the whole idea. And uh, it's like the story of um, the third, uh, the, uh, the frog and the scorpion. Uh, who, the scorpion wanted to cross the river, and um, the frog approached the frog and said, Look, will you help me out? I want to cross to the other side. The frog says, "You, I know you will sting me. He said, yes, I know I can sting you, but I will make sure I don't, I don't sting you. So the frog decided to carry the scorpion on his back, and as they were crossing, um, they stumbled on a stone, and in the nature of the scorpion, he stung the um, frog. The, the frog shouted and said, ah, you want to kill me? You, we're all going to drown. I'm going down. He said, it's in my nature. So if you don't have skill, soft skill, you'll be that scorpion. No matter how good your skill is, no matter how good you are in business, if you don't have soft skill, you're going to drown yourself very easy. And when I mean soft skill, ability to communicate well, ability to write well, ability to know when to say things, ability to understand your user, ability to understand when people are emotionally intelligent, uh, ability to do common Excel, PowerPoint, all of those things. You must have those soft skills so that you don't kill your essential skills, your big essential skills. Now, we talk about businesses. Um, I'm privileged to sit on the board of many businesses, as it were. Um, you will take it, almost 18 of them now. Uh, some will have gone big. We've gone, the only thing I'm just waiting for is that we'll be able to go uh, to SEC and list ourselves on stock exchange on one of the companies or so, so that I can say, finally, we have arrived here. Um, sit on you know some incredible transactions every month. But I ask myself, what exactly? What are the skills that we need? What are the skills of the future? What are the things that people should know? I will congratulate you for trying to learn a talent skill, which is a very key thing, because many people are out there studying the skill they cannot trade over the internet. And once you have that kind of skill, you become local champion. You know. Uh, there is this book um, uh, I have, um, it's called The Deep. You know this thing they call uh, Binance Deep and all of that, The Deep. It's by Shed Godin. And he was talking about how people used to be the best goldsmith, the man with the biggest farm, the man uh, with the biggest car. That's what used to reign back in the days. Now, if you're talented and you're the best musician in your village, it's for you. It's for you in the village. Nobody cares about you. If you can't compete with a whiskey, you can't compete with a Davido, you can't compete with a um, um, maybe Beyonce. 
Beyonce took a class when I was in Harvard, and it was a very interesting class uh, where she talked about how people perceive you and how they do perception management for people. And people, you know, when she comes, do that picture of, oh, uh, she, she's carrying her pregnancy and everybody will carry the picture and put it up. They are doing serious perception management for you and you're all putting up the picture. So all of those kind of things, how do they go about it? Now, uh, quickly, um, because I want us to have conversations. I want us to, to talk heart to heart. I need you to ask me questions. I need you to ask me those, your, uh, your boggling question, especially when it comes to tech and how it's being viewed globally. And because um, what uh, one part of our company do currently is that uh, in the US, we have about four people work for us currently who are raising jobs every day. Well, their target is to get jobs for us every day in the US and then give those jobs to Nigerian talents to manage. That's what they do for money tonight in that place. So that's what they do for money till night. They don't have any other job than to do that for us. So we have a company registered in the US. These guys go out there. They're looking for people who need graphics designers. They're looking for people who need social media managers, content managers, web developers. They're looking for people who need reputation management. And as they're bringing those jobs, we're matching it to talents in Nigeria. So that shows why uh, my perspective may be a bit different from what people see. We have that same, we're replicating it in New Zealand, we're replicating it in Canada. We're already in talks in the UK, we're registering a company in the UK, we're doing something in Rwanda already, we're doing it in Ghana, we're doing it in Kenya, the same model. So we're going to be having hubs in Africa where people from every other part of the world will be bringing their jobs and will be executing it from here. The question is, will you qualify enough to be able to do a job of somebody from Canada? Because the guy's expectation is totally different from your own expectation. The kind of English the guy will be speaking will be different from the British English you're taught with. So are you able to stay up 11 p.m., 1 a.m., to have a meeting with somebody who just closed from work 6 p.m. his own time? Because 6 p.m. his own time may be your own 1 a.m. And you still be sharp, productive, and give him the attention he needs. Those are the kind of things that we're looking for in talent that can go global. Because you no longer have your borders as your stop gap that is oh i'm in abuja i can't go to nasarawa it's nearby i can't go to kogi uh, the client said i should travel down no we're going to be running a borderless system closer and closer than we used to be facebook team for last that the world is becoming a lot more smaller closer and tighter you would sit down in your house and you're able to command a lot of money I will tell you of a guy, it's called Richmond. Um, he stays somewhere around Lokongoma. He does content writing. He works for some companies in Canada. The guy earns a minimum of $50,000 yearly. If you convert that at the current going rate in Nigeria, it's somewhere around 25 million naira every year. All he does is he writes copy. He just writes, oh, the company in Canada needs to do adverts. They will come, they will give him the... They tell him, oh, want to advertise social and so products. How do you start thinking like somebody who lives in Canada? You need to take the life of Nigeria out of you, the life of being an African out of you. There are things they've taught us that does not work. So, for example, uh, there are things I talk about that people don't like. For example, they say, well, God does not, what God cannot do does not exist. And I keep laughing because there are a lot of things that God uh, cannot do. And God will not do your thinking for you. God will not help you make your move. Uh, when I was speaking on a TV show, I, I did two TV shows today, the second one, and I said to them that um, um, uh, prayers does not change anything. Prayers does not change anything. All these things we are taught in church is wrong. Prayer does not change anything. Prayer only energizes somebody that is doing something. So that's the only thing that prayer does. That's God, what God answers to. God does not answer to the things like, oh, miracles, all those things. Those things, miracles are for people. It's when people don't have food to eat that God do miracles. Jesus is not out there doing miracles. Those are the kind of things I was trying to just make them understand the TV show. But um, that being said, I'm just trying to make you understand that don't have an African mindset. Have a global mindset. Have, uh, don't just travel and go to Canada and come back. I've seen people in the U.S. 
who have stayed in the U.S. after 25 years, when I ask, can I see your phone? All the contact they have on their phone is Mama Bashira, uh, Abdullah uh, Ogochi, and all of that. They don't have even the, the, the phone number of a white guy and all of that. I said, in my lifetime, I'm going to hire a lot of white guys because they're going to work for me. It's a global mindset. You need to be able to say that my mind is able to operate anywhere. It can work in German. It can work in India. So we, we were doing a campaign at the time. We were targeting uh, a particular country, which I will not disclose. Um, and we had to get people who were translating our newsletters, our emails, in their own languages, and we send it to the database of that country. And people were replying and giving us jobs from that country. And then we, the only place we had a bit of struggle was when we got to the place where we wanted to get payment. So I can tell you, it depends on your mindset. Go out there and do big things. Things are bigger than you. So let me quickly check this. Things are killing you. First, your beliefs. Um, I talked about your beliefs. So many of us have all kinds of beliefs, where we are coming from. Um, you know, especially when you deal with women, there are a lot of limitations. Your parents won't give you opportunity. Um, I used to say jokingly that my dad and my, uh, my mom are dead, so I'm an orphan. So nobody is out there going to help you. If you uh, also maybe read the thing they call the Bible, which many people read, there is a place in Judges, I think in 13. They say, when nobody is going to help me, I took my life into my hands and I went to war. Many a times, nobody is going to help you. I can tell you for free. So your mindset, your belief, drives a lot of things on what you're going to be, become. Starting from now, as we're talking now, the mindset you used to do your class, the mindset the, you used to position that, look, when I learn this thing, I'm going to become this. Th that determines how far you want to go. Some of you, your uncles, your aunties are in, the, are in Senate and all of that. Nobody's managing their digital accounts. Start with that. If I tell you the account that I manage, uh, maybe when we get to question and answer, I will tell you the who is who. People, I will tell you, I can open the account and show you on my phone. This guy is my client. This guy, I will show you the back end of the account. And they will deal with me. They will have to come and do business with me. It's a mindset. So you can decide to have a prisoner mindset or put yourself in that prison of, oh, I didn't have enough education. I didn't have enough exposure. I don't look beautiful enough. Nobody has succeeded in my family. Look, I like to break jinx. There are many things I've broken in my family. When I mean many things, I can tell you as far as, um, um, so I'm dealing with ladies, so it sounds as if I'm bragging a bit, but I'm just trying to challenge your mind. So let me give you a quick one. So for example, I bought a house recently in the US and my brother couldn't believe that it was possible. I just told him, I said, you know what, I'm going to buy a house. And in the space of six months, I, I, I bought the house. It's a mindset thing. It's a mindset. I said I want to own a house in a particular location. I told myself I want to be in a place where I will run 24 hours electricity. In my house currently, I don't have a generator. So, for example, they only take electricity maybe maximum one hour. Maximum one hour. I pay premium, but it's a mindset. So you can choose to be in that location where you're struggling with your generator and your inverter every day. But it's a mindset for you to say that I'm going to go beyond what my equals or my mates are doing. What, you know, when I was graduating from school, when I graduated from school, I was serving in a point. And uh, there is this thing we do in CDS where everybody will sit in the stadium and they'll be talking and, you know, they usually call me for the IT, this thing. Uh, maybe I should reverse it a bit and tell you that at the time I was going to NYC camp. Going to camp, I arrived camp, I had 1,090 naira on me, and I have two packs of CDs that I brought different, different tutorials on. Tutorials on how to, uh, there is this professor teaches that they used to sell back in the days, how to do HTML, how to use Microsoft Word. How to, I'm telling you, that was in 2006 and seven. And I got into that place. I know OBS was the biggest place that people are making announcements and all of that. So I went to, that place they call the OBS. If you've gone to serve, you understand this place, like the orientation camp the, uh, radio. And I told them that ah, I want to be managing their tech there. So I will go on the OBS and I'll tell people, if you need to buy CD that will help you, you need to skill up. I'll be doing motivational speaking every morning. By then, I was leaving camp. I had made 90,000 era. People were, selling, were buying CDs from me. By the time I did three weeks into my NYC, I had made 500,000 naira. It's a mindset. 
And there were couples who came to camp with bigger money with one, five hundred thousand, hundred thousand, like that. That's all they gave them. Me, my own idea was how to collect all their money, exchanging a particular deal. Now, at the time when I was in Ebony and I was doing some of these things, a lot of the time people just thought, oh, um, this guy is making too much marks. I will give you a clear one now. I was talking in my CDS one day and I said to them, I'm going to own at least minimum a microfinance bank to start with and I'll finally sit on the board of a, of a big bank in Nigeria. And one guy said, oh, don't call me, my two streets. As I speak to you today, I'm privileged to own a microfinance bank. So it's, an, it's a mindset. And that was less than maybe 13 years that happened. So it's a mindset thing. It's your belief, your set of beliefs that drives you. Now, another thing is called skill. So I'm not always the, the best in my class. I've only had maybe in my lifetime, maybe hard face like two or three times. But I was never the best in the class. But I was a good performing student generally. I never repeated. I never had any cause to repeat. No carryovers and all of that. But the idea was you must be very skilled. In one night, I did all of Google exams. When I mean all of Google exams, then there was then Google Fundamental, Google Display, Google Video. Uh, YouTube had not started at that time. Um, Google Mobile, Google Shop. I did everything in one night. In one night. I just sat down and I said, I want to have these things. And I did all the video tutorials I could and I did everything in one night. I slept around 7 a.m. the following day. Skill. I have over 42 certifications in digital marketing, which is one thing that will drive you because it's your ability to drive yourself. You have to say, okay, when you show up there, are you skillful enough? Are you one of those people that have sword that can do the sword anyhow? Don't mind me, I like to make reference to uh, the Bible because I kind of have read it like over a couple of times. There was a time when a king wanted to select some people in, um, in the book of Daniel. He said that you go and bring people who can speak many languages, who are skilled, who have ability to stand before king, who, ha who understand other languages. That ability to understand other languages, that's in Daniel 1. And that is an ability you must have, ability to, to be able to deal in other people's languages. If you're dealing with a German, the way they speak is as if they are getting angry with you. You must be able to understand that if you're dealing, look, there was a time when we we're running Chivita account. That's um, this Chivita that you take 100% Chivita, where they were managing their social media at the time. And these Indians that were managing them, that was the head of marketing and his team, if you see those Indians, when they start scrutinizing your campaign, you will know that if you don't know, you don't know. It's a skill. You must be able to develop the kind of skill that will change everything. Everything. Because when I get to that point, and somebody says, like last night, my team, I, I built a new platform for email marketing for the office. We can power to uh, 200,000 emails within uh, 24 hours. And I gave it to them. I said, okay, you guys should experiment with this. They started last yesterday around 10 a.m. So I reached out around 10 p.m. in the night. Okay, I've not seen any activity on this. Said so they were still struggling. They couldn't upload database and all of that. By the time I sat on it, in 10 minutes, I've done things they were struggling with for several. And I said to them, you guys, you guys are not meeting up. You are not matching the demand of the society. Nobody waits for you. Things are moving fast, fast, fast. Many people are running out of Nigeria now, um, but they don't have skills. So you see that when they get there, they are going to be selling McDonald's. They are going to be the one uh, doing checkout shop for you. They will be the one pushing trolley up and down like the people in ShopRite. You will be the one helping people up and down. They will be the one going to work in where they say they wash dead bodies and all of that. If you can gather enough skills, you will sit at home and make money. I, w I went to the US two years ago and I have this guy who was doing uh, Amazon packaging. You know what they call this Amazon packaging? So when you order goods from Amazon, they are the ones in the warehouse that will put it inside the carton and seal it. That job does not require any talent to do it. Just any Tom the Canary can do it. Just seal the carton, put it out there. Seal the carton, put it out there. I told him that day, I said, Baba, if you continue this way, you will suffer till you die. The guy took it to it. He went ahead and learned new skills. As I speak to you now, he sits at home. Per hour for his, for his work now is earning about $40. That other job he was doing was earning $9. So for the new skill he has learned, 
is earning about forty dollars. He also translates that to his wife. His wife is earning about thirty five dollars. So per hour in that household, they are making about seventy dollars. So you need to be able to think and know that you need more skills than what you're struggling with. Now I've talked about mindset a lot, and um, my time is moving very fast. So let me not mention the rest. Now top skills you should have: graphics, content, web uh, development, and videography. There are things that are on demand continuously. These four top skills, you, you have data science, you have data analysis, all of those things. They are all very important skills that people are demanding for, the market is looking for, it. people are killing themselves over, there, over that. But graphics, uh, graphics as it were, which covers for things like uh, you're doing uh, graphics, normal graphics design, you're doing animations, uh, excellence does a lot of animation, so you need to hold that. She can also show you how to go around that, how to do all of that. You must be able to do something around those lines. Now, content there is video content, there is TV content, there is uh, newspaper content, there is online content. There, if you go to this star blog, you see all kind of funny content. You go to this lover, you see all kind of content there. You visit Brother Juru, you are Juru focus on one. Content. So you just need to know the kind of content that works for you and focus on it. Some people are doing Christianese content, fine. You will see them, content is working for them. You must be able to diversify your content. Is, are you generating voice content, audio content? Look at this guy that will just uh, pick video that people are doing things that are complex and when he finish, he does his hand like this. And that is all. The guy is one of the, I think he's the biggest on TikTok or something. I forgot what he was. Now, somebody some years ago crossed one billion first on um, on YouTube with his um, dance. I've forgotten that dance now. But this video that first crossed one billion on YouTube. You must be able to produce content that will engage people. Now, when I mean content, Focoli. Focoli. yes, yes. So you get you get the idea now. Now um, there is this thing that I, almost every artist does now, where they will tell you that if you can dance, they will give you five thousand dollars. Or uh, ten thousand dollars, people should be dancing to a particular song. For example, Lamy did it for his song. If you go and check who started that whole concept in Nigeria, it was Oliver Twist that uh, the band and um, and Don Jazzy did them. Very simple content generation idea. They did a song. They said they don't have a video for it, and told people to go and dance all the dance they can. That the person with the highest YouTube viewership will get. Um, is it five thousand dollars then? People started doing it every corner and they were uploading. That was how uh Oliver Trees went viral by the band. You must be able to think to generate content. Let people generate content for you. If I start singing some song, Mama, you do good. You know who did it? Very simple. Shaky shaky daddy, you know who did it. Those are content. So you must be able to come up with something crazy, something uh wonderful. If uh, if not be panado, you know if it be panado, very simple. If you check the governor of River State, every time he's talking and he wants to make more, there's somebody always playing music or something to him. And the guy is generating content steady. Dino Melay generates content steady than most of us. So what kind of content are you generating? They now talk about web development. This is a no-brainer. If you want to do PhD, all these people that want to run to Canada and all of that, part of the requirement now is that you must be able to develop websites. Most of the business, especially when you want to get funding to do all those things, it's a basic requirement. You must be able to develop a website. So why can't you just learn that? Sit in your house. So let me give you an instance. If you can learn web development, um, you can be in your house, send emails to people in the US. Ah, you want to do a website? We can help you. Give us $1,000 or $2,000 to we'll do a website for you. Those guys don't mind paying you that amount because the guy who stays in the US and wants to do a website for so them. 5,000. So the difference is that if you take $2,000 and you're in Nigeria, you've earned 1 million naira indirectly. All you need is five websites in a month. You will be getting 5 million naira. And that's a lot of money for us here. Meanwhile, on the other side, people feel, oh, uh, it's difficult. It's not this. It's not like, uh, sometimes I hear all those stories. People will tell you all the impossible things you can hear. All the impossible things. I was doing a research online yesterday. I was trying to under to register a company somewhere else in the US. And with less than $400, they will, you register your company, you have bank account, you have everything in a particular state. 
And I'll say, oh, why did I even use over this in another location? It's just the way you think. It's the way you view the world. Have you taken your, your uh, laptop one day and just even say, okay, I want to work for people in Finland. I want them to be giving me a job in Nigeria. So how do I source for a job from people in Finland? How do I source for a job from people in Ireland, you know, people in Turkey, they should be giving me a job in Nigeria. We just feel Indians are there in those jobs. And I'm going to the market and go and collect your own share. Nobody will give you anything. Videography, you know, it's a super demanding thing now. Video, they said even video marketing, as in uh, selling using video, is going to triple in the nearest future. Um, they used to say something joking when, when we were in class with this executive. So, for example, Elon Musk, I've never spent a dime on advertising his um, Tesla cars before. He's the only one that tweets about it. He has a lot of followers. I think 40 million or something at that time. All of you will see it and go and buy his car. He doesn't have marketing budgets. There's no marketing budget for Tesla yet. And yet, we are the one making noise up and down. The guy will tweet, Bitcoin will go down. If you tweet again, Bitcoin will go up. The guy is controlling the market. We are here in Nigeria doing Binance. I say, let me trade, let me do this. Somebody somewhere will just wake up, maybe just drink small coffee. Or maybe that day, maybe I don't know, maybe I'm taking vodka. Just say, uh, Dogecoin, Dogecoin. Let me just talk about it. Everybody will start rushing Dogecoin, the thing will go up again. That is how life works. You need to be at that place where you can control the piper. But uh, let me stop there. Now, who are you now? Are you just a lady? Or are you a talent? Are you skilled? That, that you just know you have skill, you know? Um, you know how when I was in the university, a lot of professors had, you know, a lot of professors were skilled, they know the job, but they are never rich, they are very broke. Um, yes, many of them are broke. Oh, uh, you are just one lady. Uh, you know, I'm a lady, I'm married. Um, I have children, no. and my kids are not allowing me. Actually, none of those things are going to change, and your life will not change. So stop complaining. Until you choose to put your life in your hands and you choose to make certain kind of decisions, you will not move forward. Many people make that mistake. They say, oh, uh, let, me, let me make sure my children are fine, all of that. Those children will grow up, and I'm waiting for the day the children will look at you in your face and say, did I tell you to make that kind of sacrifice for me? And you know there is this mentality of, ah, my children are going to take care of me, if I, you know, some of you are your pension plan for your parents, and you are doing the same for your, um, for your children already. So I will tell you that's a wrong idea about life. You know, it's not a matter of uh, brag or anything. When my mother comes back in the days and she's praying that ah, children will take care of you, I always tell her, please never pray that prayer for me. I don't want children to take care of me. I want to be able to take care of my children. Even when I'm old, I should be the one dashing them money. I have too much money, I want to dash them. Not them sending me money to take care of me. That stop saying that. And I always make her understand that, you know what? I'm giving you out of respect and honor because, you know, honor your father and your mother is that your day should be, be, be long on earth because I want to live long. It's not because of anything. You're supposed to be giving me money because a good man leaves inheritance for his children's children. That's my own ideology. But we you know, we'd like to pray for long life, so let's just leave that out of this. But the idea is that, don't live your life just like, oh, ah, you know this thing. Uh, you know, I, the light in my area used to go off. You know, sometimes when I'm, when I'm talking to Excellent and she tells me uh, she's struggling with her generator, she's struggling with um, how to get things above the line, you know, uh, to find people who are even committed to make this thing work and all of that. I understand the struggles of an entrepreneur, but I like the fact that she always solves a problem. She always tries to solve that problem. Many, many of us, many, many, many of us don't try to solve our problem. Your car is spoiled, you are waiting for your husband, or you are waiting for your boyfriend, or you are raising a, one day my dad will give me money. Never. Until you have that mentality that will go out there, I will fight, I will conquer, I will kill the Goliath and come back home with the head, then you are not ready. Because every time you kill a Goliath's head, it will give you the, the daughter of a king as a reward. They will give you many fields, they will give you gold, they will give you everything. So many of us see Goliath and we run away. Goliath, and the day you will face Goliath, you will never be prepared to face to fight that war. I've been sued to court. When I tell you I've been sued to court, 
I've had court cases. And when I tell you the kind of people I had court cases, today I was driving in VI and I saw that that company had opened one mega place in VI. Ed Zoldin, Tony Lumelu, I had court case with him and we won. I can tell you that and we won. So if me as a small entrepreneur don't get into those kind of, because I remember that day I was in one meeting and this the email came in and I just checked my laptop. I saw it. Ah, my mind went wow. So finally, I'm going to go to court, you know. And then I I had another meeting, one big mentor, the guy who owns workforce. And I got to his place and I said, ah, so have you ever had court cases? I said, you don't have court cases, you've not started business. Now I can't even count the number of court cases they have again. They have not started. So that thing strengthened my mind. It helped me badly. So it's normal. So sometimes when people think some things are hard, it's impossible. Um, uh, this guy is just talking because you have started, you have been listening for a while. Look, the days, I didn't go to bed on you. I will tell you that I'm for free. But there were days when I remember one day I went to do a presentation. I just built a mailing platform. It looks exactly like MailChimp. And we had, were trying to pitch and everything. So I went somewhere they called Shura Complex in Lagos. And we had sat down with these guys, about six of them. Their boss was there. These are all men that were not less than 50 years old. And we explained how email marketing works and all of that. The man just stood up their envy. Say, get out of my office. Yahoo boys. See them. They have come to steal from us. Yahoo boys. The guy embarrassed us. Till I got to my car, the man was shouting, one of if I can't, if I if you come back, I'll get you arrested. You're a Yahoo boy. Yeah, you want me to be sending emails to people? You know, this is how they steal people's data. You want to steal? You guys are doing all of that. That was enough embarrassment, right? But I still, I'm still here. And the world, nobody has died. Nobody has changed. The world did not stop. I carried myself and I moved on. I had two of my staff with me that day. I asked them, are we doing Yahoo? Do you believe we're doing Yahoo? I said, no. One of them is running Business Africa Online now. I think they're doing an award today. And then the other one is running, uh, is, okay, it's working with, um, um Andela. He's been with and Andela for like four years plus now. So he's a big boy then Andela. So I can tell you for free that this is how life works. You must be able to move from being a lady to being a talent to being skilled and being global. Note that process. You must move from being a lady, just oh, they just know me. I'm a girl, I'm female, I'm less privileged. Uh, we don't have laptop in our house. There is no light. Our internet is poor. Uh, all of us started when internet was poor now. There was a time when I used to go and volunteer in the cyber cafe. And now I, 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 I volunteer to be handling cyber cafe all night as a student. That Don't worry. All those days that people just come and do online browsing. Don't worry. I will handle it. I will be there all night. I will be sleeping and be doing everything. That was how I learned a lot. If you go and read the story of Bill Gates, in the younger age, he had that same opportunity. He, that was what he did for most part of his younger age. He would go to the lab when every other person was not privileged to go to the lab and would be writing code. Go and check many of these guys. They sacrifice some things. You know, it's just now I'm even learning to get social, that I even host people, I laugh with them, I say, oh, let's go for food. Before, I don't have time. I will focus on my focus and I will be there present. I'll be doing stuff and people will insult me. People that are going to party will joke. So you, you are not this, you are not. Many of them are borrowing money from me now because I've choose to move from just being a guy, you are a lady, to becoming a talent. Talent are the ones people hire, people are looking for generally. Then when you become skilled, then you know at that time you have become baba, such that if you shoot, you will not miss. You know, in, um, in American movies, when you see the actor is always fighting, 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 at one point, you see that 200 people are shooting him. He will shoot. He will be the one that will kill everybody. It's bullet are always accurate. It's a virtual, it's by virtual promise. Those kind are they practice. There are people in Nigeria who can do that too. I have people in the DSS who I know their only job when you wake up in the morning, you get to work, they just go and be practicing how to shoot. In case there is a day, they want to hijack government. And those are the kind of people they send to go and assassinate and all of that. You must not, you won't have the ability to shoot twice. By privilege, I sit in front of the who is who in this country. And when I mean the who is who, people who control Nigeria economy, 
in some way. And they will tell me, ah, that this is what I want, what I want, this is what I want. If I start mentioning the accounts of people I manage on my Instagram, on my Facebook, and all of that, people I have back end, it's not that like maybe they made me editor. I was the one that opened their account. I have letter of authorization for some of them. So I want you to come from that angle and see that you are able to do these things. You too can do this thing on a global scale. I work with Office of the Vice President on a lot of things. A lot of things. A lot. Um, on Tuesday, we're having a session with Flutterway. We have just started developing stuff for them on how to do some stuff. As simple as social media is, they don't even have Wikipedia. We just did it for them. So I can tell you for free, there are opportunities every day. Just doing that Wikipedia for them. When GB saw it, immediately said, oh, they set up a meeting. Coming to that meeting, it gave us $1,000 instantly in that meeting. So you must be able to look at what you use as an approach. So I'll tell you a last story so that you know that everything I'm telling you is very possible. So um, I went to this conference. Before I used to go and sit in the co-hotels. So there's always one meeting, one conference going on in one hall or the other. So I'll just sit in the co-hotel. So I see real estate people are doing stuff. I go into that place. Somehow, somehow, I will look for somebody that will be needing my service. I will just be sharing my card. I will wait. And after a while, I go into another program. Maybe these ones are event managers. These ones are HR. Now, the first thing I learned on that kind of job is that Never go to meetings where all of you are the same kind. So you will not see me in social media events. I've only gone to social media week once because I was speaking. I don't go to social media week. I don't go to tech events. Instead, I go to the events where my customers can be found. So I go to HR events. I go to CEOs events. I go to decision makers events. Those are the kind of meet in meetings I go to. I don't go to the other meetings that uh, we're doing a... Uh, uh, tech meetup. Everybody now go there. We are all the same, the same. We are all looking for the same thing here. Instead, I go to where my customers can be found. So I use the Nicodemus uh, um, uh, Zachariah. What was this guy's name? My this short guy, um, Zacchaeus approach. So we quickly run ahead and we know where the customers are going to be. We we'll go and climb the tree and wait for them. So when they arrive, like uh, Jesus, we catch them. Because we must be noticed. It's an approach in business. It's a model you must always know. There are things they are developing now, things like um, your iPhones and all of that. You think, is this one, your palace iPhone, that is your this iPhone, something that is coming out now. There are some designs, they have already four editions ahead. They know where the thing is going to. So you are still using a latest iPhone. Some people have done all kinds of things to get the latest iPhone. It will still be still, obviously. But the thing is that those guys are moving ahead. So you must be able to move ahead and go and stay where your customer will be found. You must be able to start building for the future. I remember when I started this thing 13 years ago, this social media work, and people were telling me, I, I sat in front of an ambassador one day, and the man said, I don't see a future in social media. You better go and look for work. Go and look for work. I'm managing that man's account now. The man is in his late uh, ages. And they are managing his account. They are paying me for it very well. And I mean, they are paying me. They are not paying less than 200 300 every month. And I don't even know anything about that. I don't even need to open the account. So you must be able to believe in yourself, see that you are moving from those stages, and then you must start becoming global. Ghana is less than how many hours from Nigeria? Do you have a client in Ghana? Do you have a client in Morocco? Do you have a client in Tunisia? Do you have a client in Chad? They keep telling you, Chad, Nigeria is poor, but terrorists are there collecting money. Why not go into that market and collect the market and collect the market? Understand that you also need to change your perspective towards how people do trade, because the trade is going to is beyond all this uh, naira and copper that we are doing now. So let me stop there. Uh, let me quickly finish that story. I went to an event where insurance people were talking on this particular day. It was an insurance company, um, insurance event. And I just came into the event. I was looking for a way to go around this. What was the best thing I can gain from this event? While the back and forth was going on at the event, I just said to myself that, oh, I need to get this guy who was a keynote speaker. The guy had spoken that they were opening up their digital team, they are trying to get started and all of that. So I got close to the guy. 
I asked his PR ah, also that shoe size now. I just said the thing and guy told me. So what I did was very simple. I went to get a box of shoe. Um, these shoes are in big boxes. Very slick shoe that is shining, very shining shoe. I bought the shoe, I took out one leg and I wrote with handwritten notes. When I greeted the man, I said, how are you doing? I said, you know, I said a few things, this is me. And I said, I appreciate that you even opened this and you read it. Uh, I have one leg in now, if you want me to bring the other leg, um, this is what we do, we do digital marketing and all of that. And uh, Call me on so and so number if you need the other leg of your shoe. The guy immediately picked his phone and called me and said, ah, uh ah, -uh, this guy are too crazy, you are too creative. And this kind of guy, we need to run a digital marketing. I got there, he gave me a note, go and meet head of corporate comms. He got there, said that their budget is eight million. They quickly paid the eight million to me in one week. And then the following week, when they, they said they've not started because they don't know yet. It took them eight weeks to start the job that they paid me for. Because of the creativity to approach. So because in my letter I said, oh, I'm a graphic, I, um, I'm a digital marketer, I hope you appreciate this whole approach uh, that we're using. You just want to get across to you, want to see. Now, what was my marketing cost? 25,000 naira shoe. But that thing gave me 8 million. You must be able to go buy past people to approach the real thing that you want. Because no opportunity will come to you on the platform. But I'm talking of how we got lead with. It was legal assurance at that time. So I will stop there. I want you to answer your questions and be able to do um, all that you need to do. Thank you very much. Wow, wow. <laughs> Too much light moments. Am I the only one here? Like, I'll be taking serious notes. Wow, wow, amazing. Thank you so much, sir. Thank um, you. Wow. Do we have comments? Who wants to say something? Quickly. One, two, let me see. They're raising their hands up. Who wants to say something quickly? Yeah, Grace, go ahead. Go ahead. She's raising her hand. Okay, Grace, go ahead. Yeah. Good evening, sir. Good evening, ma'am. I'm so glad I didn't miss this coaching call. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really it's really powerful. Thank you so much for taking your time to inspire and motivate us. Like I'm really inspired. I'm gingered. I'm motivated. Like thank you thank so you. so much. I have a question though. Can I don't know if it's okay for me to ask? No, you can ask your question. Feel free. Ask me anything. Okay. So um. I'm a social media uh, manager, and okay. I have um, some skills in content creation and also um, graphic design. Although okay. my graphic design skills is not, I feel like it's not global standard yet. Okay. So I would like to, I'm working on, I'm taking some courses in improving my skill. So the question I have to ask is that, um, as a social media manager, apart from the skills you mentioned about maybe content creation, which is part of it, is, you, is there any like core skills that you think that can be like a plus to some? Because I feel there are lots of social media manager out there and okay. we like have similar so, skills and all of that. So what do you think would put me at like a, an, an edge? Okay, so a quick, one that, a quick one I will tell you is uh, every skill that you have, focus on getting the skill that will help uh, the customer make money. So, for example, our biggest, our biggest um, deal as an organization is email marketing. It makes sure our customer sells a lot, especially all these people doing real estate up and down. Once they sign up with us, I will tell you, don't worry. We're going to generate at least 100 leads for you. We'll make five sales minimum. Most times, it's easy for us to achieve. Once you push out that email, the person may not, we tell them your customer life cycle, once you understand, to buy real estate in Nigeria is about six months. So people will start talking to you now. It's in six months' time, they will now gather the money and come and buy. That's how real estate works. They will go and ask their uncle, their auntie, 
they will ask all the people in ages and all of that to come and help them check if the land is correct. Then they will go and meet their pastor. The pastor will come and look at it. Then they will meet the imam. The imam will come and pray on the land. All of those things are there. Those are the buyer's journey, right? So what you try to do is that I tell them it takes eight weeks for a customer to close. So pay us for two months. And then we will help you. I don't do Facebook ads for real estate people. I don't do all those things. I will just do email marketing. Once they do, and they make one sale, they will stick to you for life. There are places like, um, I don't know if you know Property Mart, The Address Home, um, a couple of them, they stick for us for life because they already know you are the one who is helping them make at least one sale. And how much are they going to make in profit? You see that they sell one property, they'll make two million naira, right? Or some of them make five million naira. How much did they spend with us? Less than 500,000. So they don't mind. So do you get the logic? Focus on a skill that will help your customer make sale than a skill that would help your customer become popular. Popularity, comments, like, share is not a metric. If you go and Google it, they call them vanity metrics. Do you get it? They call them vanity met metrics. Once you can help your customer make 10,000 Naira, they will stick to you for life. When people want to sell shirts, they want to do a, look for a way to help them sell at least one. They will start for, they will start for following you. So look for a channel, look for skills that will help your customer make money. That's just the only thing you must just look for in digital marketing. And people will stick with you for life. Mm. Fantastic. Thank you so much, sir. Wow, thank you. Matter of fact, you raised your hand up. You can go ahead now. Uh, Marufat, sorry. Are you there? Can you unmute yourself? Yes, ma. <laughs> it's fine. Hello. Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Hello, can you hear me, ma? Yes, ma'am. Oh, yes, yes, yeah. Good evening. Thank you so much for this session. I mean, okay. Thank you so much for this session. It's my opening. I really, really enjoyed this session. Can you hear me? I hope I'm not speaking to myself. Yes, I can hear you. Thank you. Uh, hello, can you hear me? We yes, can hear you. Okay, hear you. okay. Please go on. What I like most about the fact that okay, the fact that I like most about about this session is when you said we should be able to think globally and be able to solve problems by ourselves. I mean, it's really amazing. So I have a question, and my question is that um, so you said we should think globally, and you said that we are needed globally. So how do we get started? Okay, so I registered for this course because. I find all these um, social media things really boring. I don't know. I feel like activities, but I don't support them on social media because it's stressful for me. So how do you start? How do you start as a beginner and you want to go global? You want to have a, you want to create a niche for yourself. How do you start to try to like get opportunities for yourself? And you, you talk about the fact that um, we should be able to think in line with our customers. So please, Sam, another question is how, like, I'm in Nigeria, how do I think like a person in Canada? Because my client is in Canada and I want to think like him. How do I understand the market? There are the feasibility study. How do I get started with that kind of thing? Sam? So that's okay. my question for now. Okay, fantastic. That makes sense. Uh, um, the English you are speaking now, how did you learn it? <laughs> oh, and I'm just familiar. Like, what the whole idea is, um, I give you a quick example. I don't know if you've ever seen this before. When, um, when the Coca Cola first went to Dubai, they did three images. I don't know if you ever saw that whole idea. And the marketing manager approved a content like the first picture was a man that was looking very tired. The second picture was a man who drank Coca-Cola, 
And the third picture was a man who was looking very excited after taking Coca-Cola. Did anybody ever see that? If you see that, just do yes, yes in the comments. If you ever saw that, who oh, are okay. okay, so I don't think many people ever saw it there. Now, yeah, okay, yes, you did. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. So, you remember that the whole idea is that in Arabic, they read backwards. And in the UAE, which is in Dubai, it's backwards that you read those things. So, they were not making sales. Because the idea is that you'll be very excited. When you drink Coca-Cola, you'll become tired. Now, that is how Arabs think. But most times, you need to put yourself in the shoes of the people. When they are giving you the brief, if it's possible, record it. Then go and watch videos of those kind of environments. What are the kind of things that they talk about? What are the kind of things that they want? What are the kind of things that ginger them? What are the kind of things that drive them? What are the kind of things that make them who they are? Those are the things you want to clearly have. So how does the Nigerian think? We think sharply, as a sharp guy. Those are the kind of things that come to our head. How do we all do? Uh, cut soup for me. Um, what are those things that we are uh, slang? Um, find me something. Those are the, our own mentality. And what makes people sell, what, what makes them sell in Nigeria? Fear and hope. When you sell fear to people, that if you don't have this thing, you will die. Like uh, somebody said jokingly during that um, Ebola time that they, they said, oh, everybody should use salt to bath or something. Fear. Everybody's eyes using salt and water to bath. It's fear. So you must be able to understand what works in every economy. For example, because I have a bias to being a Christian, for example, you don't go to America and start selling to an American that go and pray for visa. When you can go to 100 and maybe almost 70 countries, 170 countries without visa, you can go to the Dubai you are struggling to go to without visa. So when you are telling him to pray, it doesn't add up. So your content also. We would now start talking about the ideology of that particular community. For example, you can't say you're writing com content for US or for Canada, and you are talking about homosexuality, and you are telling them it's wrong. They will not buy that content from you. It may be a religious body, but there is a way you will put the content too. The content will not be yes or no. So all those things are the idea. If you're designing, like you said, you do graphics now, you started, and you're not yet perfect. Nobody is perfect, even those ones that you think are fine. Uh, Mercedes, a couple of years ago, and what Mercedes used to do before, they have this agency. The agency only work for six months in a year. When they work for that six months, many six months is vacation. Go and think of the next new design of Mercedes. When they had problem and they were not working, things were not, they couldn't come up with a new design. They, they had six months to go and think of. Mercedes hire you, that go and think of the next design of Mercedes. Spend the next six months, we'll pay you salary, big salary. Maybe as you are now, they give you money. The question is, those people still fail. Why? Even the people that were the best, too, that were designing Mercedes Benz, still failed after six months. The question is, uh, you now that you can even do some, some small design, go and start, go outside, write email, look for, go on Fiverr, go and ask, look for people who have database of people in Europe people in India, people in uh, all the businesses in uh, Abu Dhabi, all the businesses in, uh, in uh, uh, Ontario, and start sending them direct email. Please want to do graphics for you, want to do graphics for you. People will reject you, some people will not answer you, some people will bullshit you, some people will say, don't ever contact me again, but I can bet you, out of uh, 1,000 that you reach out to, out of 1,000 that you reach out to, you will take. Maybe five will come back. And that five, you start earning dollars. If you start earning $500 from five, that means you're earning $2,500. At current exchange rate, you have 1.25 million naira every month. That is how it works. You don't need to be perfect, just start it. Worst case scenario, the thing is not fine too much. Go and look for a big graphic guy and say, you know what, brother? Bros, we'll do this thing together. I'll give you 100K if you can be delivering this job. You are the one collecting at five hundred dollars, which is two fifty. You are giving you hundred thousand. Are you not making one fifty? Your only is to collect it and send it by email. They say this is the correction. You collect and return it, and the guy is there doing 
big board. Or look for one student that will be doing the job for you. That's why you need to also wear the hat of a, of a business person, thinking business-wise. So I think we should just uh, stop there on that question. <laughs> Wow, thank you. <laughs> Last question, Precious. Okay, Daddy Cal, drop your thank question in the comments. Sarah, drop your question in the comments. You might not speak out, but Precious, please go ahead. Oh, yeah, thank you questions. very much, drop sir. Comments, sir. Thank you. Thank okay, um, I quick I want to give a quick one, please. Uh, I don't know. There, there could be some resources, like books, like websites, um. Um, maybe blogs that you would want us to go and be, you could recommend some resources to us. I would really appreciate. Okay, so primarily, I would tell you to try Malaya. It's uh, um, okay, so let me just copy it. I paid for this like last week. Okay, no, no, like that was last month. I paid for this last month. Let me drop a Malaya. Um, I just like the mindset of the people here. That's just the thing. It's not too expensive, though. It's somewhere almost 40,000 naira for the whole year. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I know this. So, and I've been, I've just done full subscription. I just like the conversations there. So, if you have it, get this. Okay, you keep getting messages from them. So, fantastic. Just, I think this is the thing I'm using now currently. But there are many books I've read. If I turn my laptop, I can show you. Uh, some part of my library, some we cannot even unpack because I moved to this apartment not too long. Um, and I can tell you that in my library alone, I have, um, give or take, almost maybe 5,000 books. So I don't know the one that, <laughs> that I would tell you to go and read now. But I read a lot. Digital read... marketing, sir. Look on digital marketing. <laughs> So digital marketing has two sides. There is a business of digital marketing and there is a skill part of digital marketing. Mm -hmm. Many people know the skill of digital marketing, but they don't know the business of digital marketing. As mm -hmm. it stands now, the last yes, time I saw Facebook ad, I think maybe like a year plus that I saw Facebook ad. And that was because they needed me to facilitate the class. But my company is doing Facebook ad but for people. Me, I don't see it. I don't even know when they do it because I'm doing the business part now. But I can, I can do the technical thing. You see, that I can do email marketing. That was how I was able to resolve their problem yesterday. I can do most of the thing. So first thing is that first develop a lot of skill. So by the time you are translating it to business, you have soft landing. So when they are talking, you are not like, eh, I've not heard of that. No, I'm not sure. Because you will get to that point where they will start asking you the typicality of what you know. Especially if you go and sit down with those people that think they know. They're going to read about digital marketing. And then they're asking you, so if you spend... $50 per day, how many impressions will we give to you? Uh, so when you start acting, when they start acting that kind of thing, that if you use this target audience, if they are targeting only these, people will sell shoes, and uh, okay, do it, let's see. They'll start asking those kind of rubbish questions in, in, in the business line. If you don't have technical skill, you have problem. So I would say that do up, up sports, do a lot of things on up sports, do a lot of things with, um, uh, Google for business and uh, this Google digital business something. Use Alinsen, use Udemy, and then um, get a lot of courses from uh, Excellent. She has some kind of courses along this line. All those are 10K and how much you said those courses? She has some <laughs> online. And then if you can do internship with her, give her free service for one month. One thing, that will also work. You sit down with her. Yeah, she's doing it, you to be copying. Because it's really easy to copy. That's how that is. That. So I think uh, that's it. Thank you, sir. Uh, okay, Dalika, you did drop your question. Your hand is still raised. Mm -hmm. Royalty Enterprise. I worked with a company a couple of years back as a receptionist. Sales was very poor because they were majorly offline, unlike the arrivals, I believe competitors, who operate both online and offline. Now that I'm grounded in social media marketing to an extent, is it proper to send them a proposal? Yes, now. <laughs> Even if you talk too much, are we going to send them a proposal now? If you know their name, before you wake up tomorrow morning, they will see proposal. All of them in the office will get the proposal. I don't <laughs> mind you. Yeah, so I'm just telling you. So better send it. 
Yeah, somebody else will do it. Yeah. Danica, quickly, your questions, like you want to speak out. If your typing is taking too long, are you there? Or did you mistakenly raise your hand up? Sorry. Good evening, ma. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Good evening. All right. I'm so, I'm super inspired by your presentation, sir. I have a question I want to ask. But I'm currently uh, doing my NYC with an organization that offers a uh, soft ski for adults and kids. So I was given the role of managing their presence on online. So I have been doing content creation. I've been creating content and be posting for them, but it seems it's not working. I've not been getting any feedback. I've not been making any sales, no replies. So I don't know what I am doing that is wrong or what I should do. So I kind of need an advice on how to go about it. Okay. Excellent. I think I've reiterated that um, quite a number of times, and that's part of what we're going to be discussing um, on Sunday during the group call. And I said that if you've gone through the three lessons, I already said pushing out content is never enough. There are three pillars, content, engagement, consistency. So you don't put out, push out content and just leave. And when you're pushing out the content, have you gone through with three lessons? Have you gone through customer persona? Are you speaking to your customers? Are you speaking where they are? We're actually going to be discussing that um, on Sunday. So you can bring in that question then. Um, let's just take on. We are already seven minutes in. Okay, Sarah has dropped her question. Ma, so, Danica, Danica, no, Marufat, no, 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 no. Let's take other people's questions quickly because we don't have time for it. You can drop yours in the comments. Sarah said, some people are natural born yeah. talents and I believe they thrive better in the digital space as regards content creating and so on. I'm minus zero when it comes to creativity. Please, where can I start from in the social media space to have an edge to? Okay. Um, very simple. Go and sit on YouTube and look at ways you can be creative, things you can do creatively. Usually, it's not, when they say creative, it's not something out of the box. So normal. Just Look at what other people are doing. Sometimes you copy, sometimes you try to do something similar. And before you know what's happening, you become um, you know, a lot of people are doing balabala. Bala. What do you call it? You bala bala now, uh, doctor. No? That's content too. They did uh, all kinds of things. I can show you. So if they've done any challenge this year, it's somebody that started it. And the person who started it has gotten all the content. If you watch um this thing on Netflix, there, there are two things I recommend. There are three things I want you to go and watch on Netflix. One is a startup. There is a movie called Startup on Netflix. Go and watch it. The other one is um, watch um, uh, Social Dilemma. Watch that one. And then the third one is Money Explained. Money, like the story of normal money that you spend every day. Explain. Those three things, I think you should watch it. Then the fourth one, if you can find a movie called The Founder, how they took over uh, McDonald's, you need to, that's how life works. Nobody send you. So you, some people say, today, no matter how uh, macaroni, tauma, you say, yeah, they are not funny. You find people who tell you that they are not funny. But there are people who find them that they are funny. So creativity is anything you choose to do. Is it not somebody that will just wake up and carry well, the whole phone like this. Maybe they use one thing to hold the phone. The guy will carry the phone like this and do hand like this. And it's one of the highest. Like, he only does when he jump. If somebody jump into swimming pool with somebody, he will now jump and do his own hand like this. And all of us are carrying it up and down. And it's globally accepted. The guy has over 2.5 million something engagements on his comments and on his posts every time. Just doing hand like this. So creativity is. You to wake up, do it like this when you finish. Just do like this. Every time you do like that, they miss your signature. If somebody that started a choke, a choke, a choke, everybody is using a choke. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, who they breathe, who they breathe. That one too has come. So you just, just start something. Just start something. You see some boys in Benin, they sit together and they will be doing children play. 
and it became went viral. It's just, I believe they just do those things. So it's your choice. And then if you talk about creativity in the social media place, when you want to do design, go and get, let me even give you one clue that my guys used to do before. They'll go to Evato. Uh, you know Evato, Team Forest. They'll go and look for designs. They will screenshot the design and replicate it and change small, small things and give it to clients. They don't need to do anything new. That's what some people are doing in my office before. See, we caught them. The <laughs> journalism will come. You see, they will come and catch. Don't come and catch me. It's just very simple. Then um, I think the questions are becoming much. So let me quickly. Uh, so this one says, uh, how does one position itself to be? So, Rewrite your profile now. Go to your LinkedIn. First, we garnish your LinkedIn. Rewrite it. Let your LinkedIn look very hot. All this why I'm writing that I went to uh, Abuja or something, university, Nine university, all those things. Nobody buy those things. Go and write there and say, you know what? I sat on the project with some of my guys. We sold 10 million naira watch of this in the currency that Nigeria did. Well, after you've done all those packaging, all these people that have Ninion blog in your neighborhood, all your friends that have blog, call all of them, write article and give it to them about yourself. Let them publish it. If you can do, there is something called the 100 blog principle that I developed under SEO. I don't know if you guys are going to do SEO. Is SEO part of the class? Okay, no. So if SEO, eh, get on 100 blogs. You will never be forgotten on Google. 100 blogs. There are people who post on, your, on their blog for 1,000 there. I just give them 1,000, they'll post. So what we did then was that I just told them, just go look for as many blogs. We try using it for clients. There are things I can share with you now. I'm on, in the US, if you Google me from the US, I'm on over 300 websites. All I spent was about $500 to get on those things. So when people type my name in the US, what they see is even from what we Nigeria people see. It's just the way you position yourself. It's the way you perceive yourself. Last three weeks or four weeks, I was on Yahoo Finance. Yahoo News carried me. A lot of people, oh, congrats. you see me on Bloomberg, you see me on Forbes. In a position, in a packaging, you enter it. So when people start seeing you that, when you now write that, ah, come and give me a job in the reason, they will respect you now and say, ah, this guy, this one cannot run that money. You see him, it's not a Yahoo guy. It's not one of the first stars because you have a face out there. And don't talk too much story about yourself, but make it third party story. Such that the person is talking about what you've done, how you've been good and nice, how your skills have helped their business grow. That's all you need. Two testimonies and you're fine. Um, so that's one. And then you also need to start. Okay, give, let me give you another clue on how I went global. We picked 15 countries. I looked for uh, 200 newspapers in those countries, online blogs, and we wrote to them with five, five articles each, telling them that they should publish about me in their country. That was what I did. So some published, some did not agree to publish, but in those countries, they have my presence. So some of the IPs, because of the IP, you may not see me as those countries will see me, but that is how it works. So you get it. It's a logic. It's free. Oh, I send them emails. Oh, look, I'm a specialist in digital marketing. These are articles about the future and all of that. And we did all of that. I hired one guy. He was collecting 20,000 at then. He wrote all those things, sent it to all of them. And people send me feedback and say, thank you. Come and be contributing to our blog. Come and contribute to our newspaper. Zimbabwe, Namibia. They sent me those mails. Deloitte in Namibia engaged us in Nigeria to come and work for them in Namibia. But Nigeria was having one issue with them, so we couldn't do the travel. I can tell you these things for free because I'm trying to be as real as possible. You get. Um, I just enrolled for a computer training class. This is it. Mm -hmm. I believe I will from here. Fantastic. I don't even mean, I learned so much. Um, reviews, okay, good. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, don't worry. Eh? Excellent, very good. You answer some of your questions. Like, where is the first one interesting? Google anal um, okay, data analytics, you are your Okay, so just carry your money. Eh? Carry like $50 and yeah. even buy things on uh, Udemy. Now, it may be very difficult to. 
I'm just telling you, money no good deal. But that investment you're about to make, when I went to Harvard, it was my house rent. And that time, the whole money was about $30,000. Because dollar was still like 150 kind of thing that time. So you can naturally know how much I spend now. That's on the school fees alone to go to Harvard. But when I came back, I will show you one account, maybe one of the accounts that I manage. Let me just, um, one of the accounts I manage. Look at the back end of this account. Which account? Okay, it's, it's reflecting. Whose account is this? Alin Kodangote. If I didn't go to Alba, they will never give me that account. So you see it, right? That's the back end of his account. This is the back end. You can see it very well. This is the back end. I can show you many, many people. If I didn't go to, when I was pitching for this thing a year before, they said I didn't have any degree to support what I was saying. The job I did for them, they didn't pay me. Until Dango tell me that this thing, they now called me again. I, and this time around, I went with my Harvard um, <laughs> shirt. There is this uh, polo that I have, there is Harvard, with Harvard logo on the hand. When I enter, they know how this guy has changed. He has gone to Harvard. My car, this, even till now, my key holder for my car has Harvard logo on it. So everywhere I go to, when I get to the meet, I drop it. On the back of my laptop before, the back of my laptop, there is Harvard sticker there. On my car, there used to be a sticker. I'm just telling you the way I use that thing to make money. So when I enter, I don't know anything, and I push a key. They will now ask, oh, did you go to Harvard? Or somebody said, I don't know. I, I was in Harvard, and you know, I was there physically. I didn't do online course because there was no courses <laughs> back in the days. About seven, eight years ago, there was no online courses in Harvard. Everybody was in class. So we were all in class on campus. And I can reference some of my professors if you want to talk to them. So when you say that, then, whether you know or you don't know, they will give you money. That is how Nigeria works. Understand the economy you are playing. If I am trying to do that in Europe, it may not work. But in Nigeria, and that's why Oyibo is working for me in the US. So when I have clients in Nigeria that they are speaking English, so I will call them. We talk to these people. When they see Oyibo, the story is to change. So let me just stop there because I need to go to the business side. Oh, fantastic. I can see some people raising their hands. That means you came in late. If you came in earlier, you already said the questions in the comments, and we can't take any more questions. So, sorry, taking extra. Oh, no, 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 no. Can you take one or two more yeah, questions? Please, can you recommend some customers that we, I mean, on customer um, studies? From the question I asked. Okay, understanding because studying a customer, very simple. Nigeria customers are yeah. very easy. Have you been taught psychography, customer persona, and all of that? No, it's this week three. She has not gone through with three content. It's there. Okay, okay. So don't worry. In that class, you have all the answers. Psychography, uh, demography, all of those things. All the customer things, customer behavior, customer journey, buyer's journey. Yeah, they're looking at that on Sunday. Mm, she hasn't okay, gone so you. So don't worry, those are the places that will solve that. Yeah. Charles, last question. Thank you, Mark. You're welcome. Charles, right. last question. Yeah. I'll call it a day. Yes. Yeah. Hey, I was dreaming. I'm very sorry for coming late. I was in a program and my land ran. So I didn't even know actually where we started and we were discussing what. Um, I want to ask one question, I guess, with this source of fix what I wanted to ask. You said you took a Harvard course. Um, how can one, you know, take it now also? Just like me, I, I'm just running up a program here in Abbott University, Student Philosophy. So how can I take that course? I think... So naturally, uh, just go online, go to Harvard HBS, and just apply for the course. You find different courses there. I think there are a lot of it online now. They've converted most of it to online courses. It's about a thousand four hundred or something now, or a thousand dollars. I don't know how much they are doing it now. But just do those courses. Um, you know one thing that works in this environment. No matter the number of Google certification you have, if you don't have 
an Ivy League, Oxford, Cambridge, Harvard, Stanford, behind your name in this Nigeria, eh? you go struggle small if you also. I just will tell you. I say you have one uncle that one auntie that will put your name in this thing in the list when they want to give job. But when they say ah, this one, you know, they will do Muru for about six people. They say this one we think he knows they will put it. That's how it works. So apply, go on the website of most of those schools and go and look for courses on around digital marketing, digital analytics, all of those things, AI, all of those things. Just go and learn it. It will help you a lot. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. No more questions. No more questions. I hope you guys have got value for your time. If you got value, just drop in the comment section. Just one word. One word. One word for tonight. One word. And one word. Can you drop one word to summarize the experience for tonight? Um, one word. Worthy. Are you typing? Okay, insightful, educating, interesting. Okay. Mesmerizing. <laughs> this is mesmerizing. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow, thank you, Sam. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. Interesting. Okay. Thank you very much, Sam. Thank you for everyone who has joined. We're going to take um, our attendance from the chat. So I can read, right? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Yeah, bye. Thank you guys for showing up. Um, did I even release this replay or not? I don't even know. Okay. So thank you. this map. Wow, <laughs> I, I might, but not yet. For this 